Ladies and gentlemen, standing literally six feet, six inches tall, the towering inferno, Mr. Mussy TV, and still the interim WBC Super Welterweight Champion of the World, Sebastian Fundora. Give it up for the towering inferno, ladies and gentlemen. How are you feeling, Jeff? Feeling good, feeling good. Uh, thank, thanks for everybody for, for coming, for me, supporting me and my sister. You know, it was a very successful night. Well, it wasn't. Before we get to the media for questions, it was a long day. Sebastian, you were, I think I saw you on the shuttle coming to the arena at like 1.30. I mean, you were not fighting till 8.30, 9 o'clock, but you came with your sister, you watched her prepare, you were there ringside watching her fight early in the afternoon, then you went ahead and handled your business. So credit to you for being such a proud brother and your sister was cheering for you as much as you were cheering for her in the fight. I love seeing the Fundora family. With that being said, I will turn it over to the media for questions. Uh, who's got the first question for the fighting Fundora family? Keep Congratulations, Sebastian. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us how tough of a guy he was in that, it, no matter what you hit him with, it just seemed like he wasn't going away. Uh, um, I figured with this fight, he was going to be a tough guy because, you know, all, all the crap Barry was talking about him, you know, that first round knockout, that first round knockout, that first round knockout. And um, with that, I know he was going to come out with a big heart, probably a bigger heart than anybody I ever fought because he had something to prove. And um, we just worked from that. We knew he was going to be a tough guy. Uh, um, uh, he obviously learned from that fight with Spence, uh, you know, that 12 wins, 12 um, um, straight, wins. straight wins, 12 straight wins, it, it meant something. Next question. Oh, what's the microphone? Oh, we're there. Sebastian, uh, congratulations. I saw, I want to say it was the end of the 11th, you guys kind of finished and exchanged, the bell rang, and then you kind of... Tap this glove. Hey, Steve, sorry, not, not to cut you off, but we want the stream to be able flip to pick that, up your question. Flip that on. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Let me give you the Okay, got it. There we go. Better? No. 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 Go ahead. This, this, one, this one. This one. All right. <laughs> Just want to make sure everyone hears the question. Got me? Yeah. All right. Sebastian, congratulations. Um, I want to say it was the end of the 11th round. You know, his face was getting busted up, he was bleeding, you know, it kind of looked like Lubin, similar to, you know, just his face getting swollen up. And I saw you guys kind of tap gloves, was there maybe a, a little moment between you guys, kind of like, all right, we're, we're almost there, we're almost at the end of it? Yeah, it was, uh, I'm pretty sure he was enjoying the fight as much as me, you know, it was a great fight, it was a great fight for the fans as well, and uh, um, I was just in the moment, you know, uh, maybe it's a little, you get that little from sparring, like, like, hey, good round, you know, you got me with a good punch, or whatever it is, but uh, uh, just like, uh, uh, Let's finish this up. <laughs> Over here. Hey, Sebastian. Uh, Josh Gross from LA Daily News. Congratulations. Thank you. When you're deciding to fight from the outside or fight on the inside, what's the determining factor there? Uh, are you taking it as it comes, or is this a purely game plan decision? Well, uh, I felt like the first four rounds I boxed because I wanted to not just show uh, myself, but my father and everybody else that, uh, that, that we can box. I mean, we've been doing that the whole camp, boxing, boxing, lots of range. But I felt like it was moving a little bit too slow for me. And I wanted to excite the fans a little bit more, you know, give them their money's worth. And uh, we went in there, we banged, we did the, the normal tiring Inferno style, and uh, we got the fans riled up, and, 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 and yeah, we got to jump in. Hey, Sebastian, Miguel Maravilla will fight news. This was obviously, it was a, a hard-fought victory, going to distance. Uh, we gave you everything you wanted. What do you want next? Um, who do you plan on calling out? Um, of what we are, the WBC mandatory, you know, um, but uh, the winner of um, Charlo and Sue, hopefully, or any of the top ten, I'll take any of them. And, uh, Gabriela, how would you, uh, first of all, congratulations, how would you assess your performance and how impressed are you? Um, very impressed. I think it was a great show. I gave the fans fireworks, like I said, I was going to do all week. Um, Sebastian did great, too. Put on a great show, closed the night. Spectacular, so it was a great night. It was a fun night. Raise your hand if you have questions for the Fighting Fundora family. Go ahead. Hi, uh, Harrison Campbell with Fight Club. For the both of you guys, obviously you fight on the same card, both of your undefeated records, and you're fighting close to home. How special is this win for the both of you compared to some of your previous? Um, very, very special. Um, I felt not um, nervous for this fight. Uh, just more jitters, you know, because we're closer to home, we're in Southern California, all our fans are here. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I heard a lot of people yell at Coachella, and, you know, I was like, oh man, there's a lot of people from Coachella here. So it's just a great feeling, you know. Uh, I, I, I get like emotional when I'm walking towards the ring because it, it just, 
everybody's here for us, you know, to support us. And, and, and we started so small and, and to be where we're at. Uh, I'm, I'm headlining right here on Showtime TV, you know, it's a dream come true. Yeah, good. I'd like to say what he said. Uh, exciting, almost surreal moment. So, moment where you don't realize until you're on that ring in the stage. So, and everybody's kind of just clapping and cheering and shouting your name. So, it's exciting and just thank you to the fans that came out to support us. Got questions for Sebastian Fundora? Sebastian, uh, yes. whatever you're back from Vegas. Um, two questions. One, at any point did you feel that you were close to stopping him? It, it looked like the commission, um, the commissioner at one point was taking a very, very close at him. Uh, ringside, we would think like, oh wow, he's getting close to being stopped. Did you ever sense that? I did, I did actually. But, uh, um, well, he pulled through, he pulled through and he finished the fight and then uh, hands off to him. Uh, second question is, what would you? What was? What is your assessment of the referee? Uh, I know that uh, he kind of got in into the fight. Uh, I believe he said that uh, the corner should be fine on the Ocampo's part uh, because of the water on the ground and the ice. But what was your assessment of all that? Well, um, he, he does his job always. You know, he's a uh, one of those celebrity referees. You know, which he's always doing the big fights, so he always makes the right calls. I have no um, judgment on his work. You know, if, if he says he, he's he's the one commanding the ring. So, you know, I'm never really going to say anything about the ref. The ref does his job, and I do mine. Good answer. Who was that? Raise your hand if you have questions for Keith Eide. has got another question for him. Sebastian, Marcus Hayes, also Fight Hub TV. Uh, congratulations to both you and Gabriella on both of your victories uh, Thank you. tonight. Um, I watched an interview of you guys this past weekend and you talked about the lineage of your family fighting. Uh, can you briefly tell us all about that and what it means to both <coughs> you and Gabriella? Well, it's, uh, it's a big factor in our life. It's probably the, the, the biggest thing in our life. You know, we've been boxing since we were little. We've been, been around boxing since we were little. So. You know, without boxing, I think there's no Fandora. You know, it's that extreme. So, you know, it's just everything in us. You know, it's in our blood. Uh, um, and we're going to be here for a long time. Sebastian, obviously, you'll keep a close eye on the Charlo Zoo fight. What kind of chance do you give Zoo of pulling off what would obviously be an upset? And who, who do you think will win and why? I do have Charlo for, for the win, but. Um, you know, I won't even be surprised if Sue wins. Sue's a strong pressure fighter, and uh, I think uh, Charlo does have a hard time with that. But again, I think Charlo's a harder hitter, so that's uh, definitely going to be the difference. He'll knock him out, you think? Yeah, I think so. I think he can. I'm not saying he is, but I think he can. Keith's question was, does he think that Charlo will knock out Tennessee when you heard Sebastian's answer? Oh, oh, yeah. okay, one right here. I got a question for uh, Sebastian and Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> what song are you guys going to sing for karaoke? All right, I might go to, uh, go to some Cruel Summer by Banana Rama or uh, Dream On by Rosemary. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't sing until everybody starts like getting tired so they don't pay attention to me no more. <laughs> Virgil, Virgil Ortiz tweeted that you came out to Metallica, that's a guaranteed W, you got the win. What do you think about Virgil and just, you're like, you're, you're, um, you like Metallica, you like rock metal, it just gives uh, a little bit of take. I love, I love uh, rock, I love heavy rock, you know, that's something we always train, train with. Uh, shout out to Virgil, you know, he's a future world champion and super, um, or welterweight, you know, a strong fighter. Thank you. 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 Feel when you have to watch your sister fight on the night that you're headlining, and also, do you two have any mutual goals in the sport of boxing? Um, I was excited, you know, because she's always training with me. She's always doing these camps with me, so to to have her fight on the same card as me is a uh, is like a double whammy for me. Uh, I'm gonna get my fight in, and she's gonna get hers. So I guess see both of us, uh, um, you know, compete, you know, and. Uh, I'm pretty sure she has the same same motivation or whatever it is as me. You know, she wants to become a champion, just like me. I'm pretty sure she wants to be a multi-divisional champion as well. That's what I want to do. You know, uh, we'll see what the future holds for us. 
All right, we have one model, one final question. By all means, go ahead and ask your to Fighting Mundo of the Family. Still up yet. Uh, first of all, congratulations to both of you, Omar Godinez with uh, Fighters Boys. Thank you. Um, how do you feel a fight with you against the winner of Charlo and Zoo will go? Um, will you, do you think you will uh, fight on the inside, or do you think you will fight a little bit of a smarter fight on the outside and box him out? Um, I feel like, uh, now I feel like whatever. With this fight, I want, I win. I mean, I usually always go inside to fight on the inside. I, I do it myself, but I really felt it like, Whenever I wanted to go inside, I went inside. Whenever I wanted to box outside, I boxed outside. Now it's not even what the other opponent is going to do, it's what I want to do. So we'll see how I feel that day. That means his confidence is growing. That's problematic <laughs> for the rest of the super welterweight division. I know Steven Espinosa is in the house. I think his eyes lit up, but he was hearing <laughs> Sebastian Pudor, the winner of Charlo and Zoo. Come on, are you kidding me? Final thoughts from both of you. Um, Gabriela, we'll let you go first. I just want to thank the fans and Showtime and BBC and TGV Search and Promotions. You guys, we, we put on a great show tonight, so I hope the fans enjoy and thank you. Same thing. Uh, thank you to everybody that came out and supported. Uh, um, thank you, Jose, for the picture. You know, thank, um, thank you, Alicia. Uh, you know, and thank you for everybody, the PBC team, Samson as well. Thank you always, Samson. And um, thank you to my, my father, my mother, Coach Ben, of course, and uh, everybody else that helped out. Sebastian and Gabriela Fundona victorious here tonight at Dignity House Sports Park. Sebastian Fundona second straight main event and still the interim WBC Super Welterweight Champion of the World, Sebastian Fundona and his sister Gabriela Fundona. Thank you so much for watching Showtime Championship Boxing presented by Premier Boxing Champions. So long from the war grounds here in Carson.